Hello there, everybody! It is I, Tony, aka TTBurger88, and welcome back to another episode of TTBurger Game Reviews here. And I'm. I, you all, as, you, as many of you all know, I love fighting games. It's one of my favorite video, video game genres of all time, and lots of fighting games, and, and I'm a huge fan of a lot of them. Mainly, mainly the Tekken series, the Soul series, Mortal Kombat, Bloody Roar, and more and more and more. But there's one fighting game franchise I haven't even talked about, about yet because I kind of kind of forgot about it. I haven't, I haven't played it in a while, and that is the Virtual Fighter series. Now, in, in, or, in order to, to, to learn more about the Virtual Fighter series, let's go back to 1992, back when back when, when when 3D fighting games were just start, start starting to hit the shelves. You either played them in the arcades or you got them on <laughs> in a home console stuff. And my first experience with Virtual Fighter was playing Virtual Fighter was playing Virtual Fighter 4 in the arcades in Las Vegas, and I was immediately hooked onto it. I mean, I mean, a lot of the 3D fighters may be similar to one another, but Virtual Fighter pretty much 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 showed that it could be basic and simple, while the graphics can be better. It can still be basic and simple and fun. And for this review, it'll be in two parts for Virtual Fighter games. I'll be covering two games here: Virtual Fighter 4 for the PS2 and Virtual Fighter 5 for the for the PlayStation 3. TT Burger 88, I have come for your soul. What do you mean? Who are you? What are you talk? What are you talking about? I am the ghost of the LP Rantor. The LP Rantor. But how? You're you're dead. You died a long time ago. The one that you forgot about! Um, I remember you really well, dude, um... But you died a long time ago, I mean... What are you, what are you doing here? What, what, what's going on? How could you? How could I what, LP Ranter? This is a game review! What, what do you want from me? I don't know what you want. Tell me! Why are you reviewing Virtual Fighter 4 and 5 first? You need to review the first three! Okay, first off, I just mentioned that I don't have them because they were on Sega consoles. And I can't review them unless I own the console. I shall haunt you in your sleep, TT Burger. Haunt me in my sleep? How, exactly? Um, I ain't afraid of no ghost, just to let you know. I, I ain't afraid afraid of no ghost, and I, and I don't know, know where you came from, but this, like I said, this is a game review. And it's a two-part game review. You wanna, you wanna them to be there floating around on my screen and stuff like that? Then go right ahead. But meantime, I got Virtual Fighter 4 to review for the PlayStation 2. This'll be, this'll be the first part. So, without further ado, let's get started here, shall we? Now, as we get started here, as we get started here, you get a little clip of the opening cutscene, and it basically j j just shows all the characters of of the run through and stuff like that. And basically shows that you you play as these characters and you can fight as them. It's nothing, it's nothing, it's just nothing, it's nothing like super over the top or special, but it really fits the game really well. And this was the very first Virtual Fighter game that Alexa that I've ever played because because like it was the first one on a Sony console, so. Me being a huge fighting game fan, I was going to get the game. And after we see that cutscene, we choose we, we choose the character here. The character I'm gonna be playing as is, is Sarah is Sarah Bryant, because she's the only character I pretty much play as play as, and she's my favorite character as well. She's kind of like like, like the inspiration of Nina Williams, because if you can compare Sarah Bryant to Nina Williams, they're pretty much almost the same character and stuff. And I feel I feel like that's where Namco got got its inspiration for for Nina Williams, for Nina Williams and stuff for Tekken. But now that we set our character. Let's get out of the way, I'll, show you. I'll talk a little bit about arcade mode first, and then I'll talk about the Kumite mode in a little bit. But right now, I just want to talk a little bit about the basic arcade mode here. And, of course, you hear them talk, and then we're on, we're on the way, and you can see here that the game's presentation looks fantastic. I mean, this game came out in 2002, and the graphics to this day still really hold up. They look much better than all those Street Fighter, Fighter expansions and Marvel expansions that Capcom makes every, every single year, every few months or so. This is what you call a true 3D fighting game, but I will admit, however, 
rather that, that the game's graphics look almost on par with the arcade version, but there could be, but there are some some jagged edges and stuff when you when you when the camera like look moves turns and stuff like that. You can see the blurriness in some of the camera angles and stuff, but it doesn't really affect the game at all. And the controls are very simple, like like you have you do have you have two punch buttons, a kick button and a block button, and you can press two, and you can press like the like the like the square and punch button, the, one of the punch buttons together, the the block and punch buttons together to do a throw. You can do many different throws by by pressing by multiple buttons on the D pad, and your shoulder buttons can also do some powerful moves too. And the cool thing about this is that from pl I mean, when playing this with a bunch of friends. The, all the fighters feel completely different from one another. They don't. They all don't feel the same or the same type of moves. That that they all feel completely different. I'm just playing Sarah Bryant because she's my favorite character in this. But 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 then again, like um, I did play as some other characters back then when 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 when, when playing versus and stuff with the friends. So I just thought I might get out of the way. And like I said here, this is the classic arcade mode, and the arcade mode here is very challenging. Like, it doesn't really hold your hand much and stuff. It's like, like it gets like, of course, it gets harder and harder as time goes on. But the the whole point of the arcade mode, so like, 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 like the main objective when when finding opponents is try to trying to figure out what moves to use in order to, to, to survive. Like, if you just like um keep. If you just like, like like keep keep trying to do a bunch of bunch of like the same kick over and over again, you're gonna get get your ass whooped. And there's also ring outs here too. And there are times where I lost in this game. But the thing is that like it wasn't really really the game. It's not the game's fault obviously. It's just that you have to plan on, on how you're going, you're going to defeat your opponent. And that's basically the gist of it. You fight in 14 stages. That, that, that That's including one bonus stage. Which I could never beat because the bonus boss is way too strong. And I can't even beat him in Virtual Fighter 5. So just thought I might get that out of the way. But... For sound, there really is much to say except the fact that um, you got you got the music, which a lot of people didn't like, but I kind of like the music. The music is the music is, is pretty top notch. I like it. It's got some rock, some rock tracks, some industrial tracks and stuff that really that really fit each background. I'll, I'll play a little a, a little clip of Sarah's theme since that's the game I'm playing as, so you can get a little, little idea of what the music is like. <laughs> And also, the voice acting is pretty good as well. I mean, characters speak in their own native language. Like, but the character Sarah here speaks in English, along with her brother Jackie and like um, a couple other characters. Characters like like that are from France and stuff speak in English. But like, mainly the Chinese and the Korean and Japanese characters and stuff do speak in our do speak in, in their own na native language. So, it fits perfectly. And aside from the arcade mode, you have the versus mode and the comedy mode, and you have three different training modes here. There's not that, it's not really that many modes to choose from. But back in the day of 2002, this was actually this was this, this was considered a lot of modes. So that's why I'm not I'm not barking at, at it at all. But now we'll talk about the comedy mode. The comedy mode is basically the tournament mode where you can rank up your character and and win and click items for like your costumes and stuff like that. The, you have to create a pro. You create a profile to like, like win all the stuff. But unfortunately, I was unable to create a profile because like for some reason it said um said that it told me to enter a new memory card. It said like it wouldn't. It said like it, it failed to create and stuff until it's a new memory card. And I tried like three different memory cards and it didn't work. So maybe I'm so I'm guessing like like maybe it's just my copy. I don't know, but I'm sure. But like. If you can't create it, it's like I just can't can't create a profile for this, so I so I can't really show you what kind of items you get, but you kind of get the idea of, of what it's like. And besides that, there's really not much else that I can say about this game. I mean, like it's a fun, simple 3D fighter with with great controls, great graphics, great AI, and great music and everything. And and also the fact that I mentioned that I, I know I did not mention the story here into that because things like the Virtual Fight Fighter series didn't really have much of a story. I mean. You I mean sure the story in the manual and stuff like that, but unfortunately I'm not I'm not gonna, gonna, gonna waste time talking about the story or, or read whatever read the, the story because like this is a review, not like a playthrough or a or a PowerPoint presentation or something where you spend time like that. So I just wanted you guys to get the idea of what the game is like. And I recommend you guys picking this game up. Those of you who don't own a virtual fighter game, this would be a great place to start. 
And of course, there's also Virtual Fighter 4 Evolution, which is basically kind of like the greatest hits version, kind of like an expansion with like better with but update, updated graphics like that. And they give you a, the, you the option to play as the original Virtual Fighter and stuff. But um, I don't own it because I was fine with Virtual Fighter 4, so I'm I don't care. I don't care for expansions like that. I mean, expansions are pretty much kind of a waste of money unless they're actually worth it. Unless they actually have a lot of content with the full game stuff. I don't care for expansions in the, in the end. But that's pretty much, pretty much all I gotta say here, and my final rating goes like this. Virtual Fighter 4 is definitely a must-buy Virtual Fighter game, and a must-buy fighting game, and it's made, I definitely recommend it for those who never got into 3D fighting games and now can and will enjoy it, and recommend, those, recommend it to those who are veterans of fighting games and will definitely have a lot of fun with it. While there may not be as many modes and stuff as like I was in Tekken 4 and stuff like that, even though it, it is still definitely um, a good amount, amount of modes for like um, the Tekken 2002 and stuff like that, some people may be disappointed by, by the lack of modes, but I really didn't have a problem with it at all. I mean, like, I really enjoy, enjoyed this game, and I'll definitely really be giving this game about a 9.5 out of 10. Definitely a, a perfect rating for it. I mean, it's not the it's not the best fighting game, but it's a fantastic one. I recommend it that, that you all enjoy. You call that a review? Oh, it's the most boring review I have ever watched. Okay, um, LP Ranter, then, um, what makes a good review in your opinion? Because I pretty much, there wasn't much to say about it because I pretty much said all I had to say. What do you want, what do you want me to say then? I have been watching you for a long time, Tiki Burger. It's time for me to come back from the dead. Come back from the dead? You're already here floating in my room right down on the corner right there. How could you come back from the dead when you're already come back as a ghost to try and haunt me, but you're not gonna succeed because... Because you're already dead and because you're already there! If you're trying to scare me, it ain't going to work! And why is this a multi-part video? What the hell's wrong with you? Don't you have any spirits anymore? We used to make runs together. We used to rant about KFC and bathrooms, and now we've been reduced to this boring crap. I shall haunt you from now on. Okay, okay, ghost boy, listen up. I put it in two parts, because if I would have reviewed these two games in multiple parts, you know what would have happened? It would have turned off the viewers, because a lot of people on YouTube these days don't like to watch long videos. Hell, this video is kind of already long enough as it is, so why bother to do this in the first part? You'll have to wait, Sonny Boy. You will have to wait. And that's pretty much... Oh, wait a minute. I have a little unfinished business to take care of. Um, yeah, of an old game that that, that was supposed to to rest in peace in the waters below, but because, of the, but because of all the snow, I couldn't do that. I have a little unfinished business to take care of here, people. I'll be right back. Well, everyone, like I said before, the weather has gotten better, and most of the ice on the snow, uh, most of the ice and snow are gone, so I guess we can finally give this game the proper burial it deserves. And soon, Mary Kane Ashley Crush Course, you will join your two older sisters down in the water below. Any last words? No? Oh, you want to go in there? Okay. Now, everybody, on the count of three, I'll throw this in here. Ready? Give me count three. One, two, three. Well, it didn't go in the lake, but still, it's broken stuff. No, not into the lake. It burns. I'll be back, TT Burger. Good. Go away. Go away. Come back. Never, never bother me again. Look, look, man. I don't know how you came here, but. It I'm sorry it burns that I threw it in the lake, but it didn't even get into the lake. It's on the ice, but don't worry. It'll still meet its older sisters, its sisters, Magical Mystery Mall, and uh, Winter Circle when it go when the ice melts and it goes down. It, it, it'll be the broken one then. But yeah, I am never going to touch another game like that ever again. I've done enough Barbie American Nasty games, and you know what? If I had to review another one of those, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna go crazy!
And you're probably thinking, oh, why don't you read the PlayStation 2 Barbie American National game? Well, okay, what's you gonna say about that? No! I'm not reviewing any more of those! I already got my point across and I'm not doing it anymore! You want you, you, you if everyone wants me to review those, too bad. I got a point across. I reviewed three of those. Uh, I reviewed three of those games, and that is enough. Enough. Stay tuned, cause I'm. And you know what? I'd say I'm done. Virtual Fighter Five is next, so stay tuned.